Welcome back to the channel and today we thought we'd end 2023 reviews with a bit of controversy by doing our driving iron review. The top number one will be something that maybe you weren't expecting. So guys, if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends. So the driving iron category, one that's become more and more popular as players look for something a little bit more forgiving to hit in their longer irons and we see guys use five iron down or maybe want to use a driving iron. Now in the old days, a driving iron used to be a one iron or a two iron or it used to be a utility iron and it used to have no loft and go out like a rocket and a worm killer and it used to be dreadful. Now you can get them in two, three, four iron lofts and they're still called driving irons, which is a bit bizarre to me, but it is what it is. But there's lots of brands are making them. They are very successful. Um, they are hugely helpful in a fitting scenario because you can get guys just bumping into that four iron um, or three iron where they don't want to necessarily go into a hybrid or a fairway wood um, and you give them something a little bit easier to hit, which is great. So what are our top three? Well got them all here and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little one into the mix in third place now I'm not sure you're gonna like this but I've gone with the ping crossover so adjustable which has been a big plus for us being able to tweak it we talked about this in other videos where you have more adjustability in this kind of part of the bag to dial in the loft the eye crossover not one of pings go-to irons you know, it's not something they shout about a lot, but it has been hugely successful this year. It's been a very good iron. Personally, I don't like the black finish. I don't like the black heads on clubs anyway. I can get away with it in a wedge, but I struggle with irons. But overall, performance on this thing has been absolutely superb. In number two, though, is the Titleist U505. Released this year in their T-Series irons range. Just a brilliant iron. It's a replacement of the U500 before. Works well performs well, big chunky bulbous, pops it up in the air. We've had an argument with our Titleist rep to say, does it work? He says, yes. I say, I can't stand the look of it. It looks like an ugly duckling, but he's right. It does work. So we'll get the data on that. But in number one, and this is the bit of controversy because I've left out one of the big boys here and I've gone straight into our number one as the Shrixen ZX driving iron. Affordability has been superb, feel is insane, and performance is second to none. So this overall has been an absolute winner. It goes under the radar because they don't spend enough money focus on it, in my opinion. But when you blend it in with the ZX7 range or the ZX4 range or the ZX5 range, any of the range actually, I don't know why I just named all the irons, then this one is a real success. So let's get into Trackman, let's get on the bay and let's see how these go. So driving irons, Chris has let me warm up for this one which has been fantastic. Just so I cross over, it's been a success this year, good shaft options in there. Um, sits nicely, nice little bit of offset on it as well which has been good, helps you get that ball up in the air and square the face up. I think it's interesting because G430 with its four iron has been very successful as well. So maybe the four iron that I've got in my hand hasn't sold as much, but the three iron equivalent definitely has. Um, what's nice about the eye crossover is you do get a nice launch to it. So one of the things to look out for on a driving iron, and I think this is where the confusion sometimes comes, is that people are expecting a driving iron to come out really low and flat. Actually, you want your driving iron just to go up in the air, pop up in the air, and let's, let's be honest, they're not driving irons anymore, they're utility irons. So That hollow head, that kind of, you can hear it, it's, a, it's not the normal ping clicky or solidness that you'd expect from an iron, but it performs well and good news for me is that it's consistent with everything else I hit, which it goes miles right. There she goes. Do, I always do question when we do these videos whether Chris has set Trackman up correctly because I never seem to find the middle. Anyway, there's the pink eye crossover, very successful iron, decent price point. U505, came out middle of the year, it performs, but my word, when you put this down, I can't stand the look of it. Absolutely, just, it's got a shovel on the back. 
I just, I just don't like it. I guess this is why, though, Titleist have been very smart this year. They've been very clever. Because they'll give you this iron to help you pop it up and smash it. And performance, I can't argue with it. it. It works. It's absolutely superb. However, I get why some players won't like the look of this, what looks like a triangle on the back of the head. Hence why they've brought out the, t the revamped T200 driving iron as well, which has been very, very popular. Um, works very well with the guys that like T150. So, but... Again, mass market, going to work for more players. One U505 is, is definitely the one. It sounds brilliant though, doesn't it? It sounds so good. Looks so ugly, sounds so good. I mean, that's not the one. I mean, it's gone right. Yeah, solid. Good spin rates on this as well, so you feel comfortable hitting this into a green. There we go. You can save it with the hands, Alan. You can save it with the hands. One more. I think that's the beauty with this club is that it's so forgiving. Someone has hit it as bad as I've hit it there. I mean, there's 90 yards between the first one and the last one. Go on, Chris, bring it up because I know you really want to. There it is. Like, if you're my foursomes partner, you don't know which a fair way to walk down, do you? Absolutely no idea. Right, on to the one that I think is the best this year, and I think it's performed well, and price point absolutely insane. Um, I think we've done a review of this before, of these driving irons, and then we've definitely done a review of the Shrixen irons. So what I'll get Chris to do, because I think this blends very well into the Shrixen irons, is we'll pop the video into the comments box below this of the Shrixen reviews, because I think if you watch them, you'll see how the the ZX uh, driving iron fits really nicely with that. It's been great to put this into our build center this year as well. So making sure that we can build this product has been absolutely superb for us. And we really should do a review. We really, I mean, how good was that by the way? Look at the launch of that. This is so good this iron. Maybe I need to speak to our friendly rep, Carl, and see if I can get one for 2024. But if you, I think we need to do an episode in build where we get to talk to Rob about which clubs he likes building the most. Because he loves, for some reason, he loves building Shrixen. There she is, little fat wonder. Oh. What's it doing my head in? I just like the launch of this club. No, nope. come on. Okay, one more. Pretty solid. There we go. It's a good one to finish with. So there we go, guys. Driving Irons 2023. Thought this might be this might be a bit controversial. If you've bought a, a driving iron and you love it and it's not in the top three, it'd be great to know what it is. Um, I've gone with my top three of the crossover from Ping. I crossover from Ping. The U505 from Titleist in second place. But my winner this year is the Shrixen ZX driving iron. Not just for performance, but based on the feel and also the price as well. So it's a super super iron. Hope you enjoyed that, hope that was useful. Remember, driving irons aren't just about hitting it bullet low off of the tee. They're gonna help you into greens as well and positional play. So you wanna make sure you get irons that give you the right flight and the right land angle to stop the golf ball on the green. So if you've enjoyed that video, hope that was helpful. Please make sure you write in the comments below anything about this video that you agree with, disagree with, anything you've bought that you've seen, that would be great. We will try and comment on all of the comments in in the channel as well. Chris will get on to that. I hope that's been useful. If you've enjoyed our content this year, please help us by hitting that subscribe button. Please share with your golf and friends, and we hope that you have a great Christmas and a fantastic 2024.